The ability to work quickly and efficiently are valuable qualities in a product designer. Successful designers continually look for ways to maximise their productivity without increasing their workload as they address the needs of the client. This video demonstrates one of many ways in which we might speed up our designing, increase our output, arrive more quickly at the modelling stage and perhaps most importantly of all, keep our thoughts and ideas fresh and exciting. As demonstrated in an earlier video, I've started by producing a page of initial design ideas. Using a fine black pen, I'm focused upon filling the page quickly. Overlapping my work and allowing myself to be a little messy encourages me to work freely, which in turn helps me to be creative. In the same video you'll see how I've applied marker pen and annotation and how I've filled in detail on the page as my ideas have formed and grown. An important feature of this method is that I've photocopied my sheet of initial design ideas several times and I can now jump straight into conceiving of new ideas without going back to the very start. Despite working on photocopies of the same original, each sheet can be completely different to the previous one. One of the reasons that I'm able to work with speed and energy is that the pressure is off. This is due in part to the fact that I'm working on photocopies. In other words, if I make a mistake, it doesn't matter, I can start again without going back to the beginning. With that said, there is no such thing as a mistake. We're exploring our thoughts and ideas, not producing a work of art. But if I am unhappy with what I produce, I haven't lost anything if I tear it up and start again. Now importantly, these photocopies aren't restricted to forming initial ideas alone. You can see here that I'm further developing the concept. It's moved on from simply being a hot glue gun. I'm starting with the same photocopied sheets, but I'm now developing my concept. In this example, I'm working through the potential for the hot glue gun to be cordless. Again, this way of working limits the pressure I'm under. It shouldn't matter whether the page looks impressive or not. What's important is that I'm exploring my thoughts and recording them for evaluation by my client. We shouldn't discard design pages if we're unhappy with the way they look, but if the option of doing so helps us to relax and work quickly, then that's going to free us up and help us to be imaginative and creative. You can see here that there's been a big shift in the focus of my work. It's gone from being entirely centred around the glue gun itself and become almost exclusively about a means of making the glue gun cordless. Most of my design work is now concerned with the charging unit or docking station, so these pages would be classed as the development of the product rather than the initial ideas. As soon as my page is full, I start again with another photocopy. I want the transition between pages to be quick so that I maintain my rhythm and momentum. I'm at my most creative and fluid when I'm relaxed and focused upon exploring my thoughts. I'm at my least productive when I'm setting out to produce design work that's like artwork. I'm continuing to work loosely, drawing and annotating where there's space and even where there isn't. I'm absolutely not precious about sketching over sketches, writing over drawings, drawing over annotation and so on. The more freedom I give myself and the fewer constraints I'm under, the more creative my design work will become. Just as I was before, I'm considering the needs of my client as I'm designing. As a product designer, I'm relying on being able to speak to the client, listen to the client, understand their needs and be able to produce work that answers those needs. Seeking regular feedback from the client will ensure I'm heading in the right direction with my work.
for a recap of what should be included in annotation, or a reminder of how to go about bringing design ideas to life with marker pens, check out my other videos. You'll find the links below. And finally, here are three very different pages of development work, each constructed very quickly and each formed from the photocopies of the original initial ideas sheet. Hopefully this clearly demonstrates just how efficient a method for quickly developing design work this is. I hope you found this video useful, if you have then please hit the subscribe button. Remember to tick the notifications tab and that way you'll be the first to hear of my next project. Find me at Product Designer Maker on Instagram for a bit more background and up to the minute news and views. Find my resources online at www.productdesignermaker.com. Thanks for watching.